now. Faber over in this javelin. Early stages at the moment. The Germans, of course, with such a rich tradition with the spear. And that one, well, well below 80 meters. And I think uh, Weber, German champion this year, former handball player. Fast arm helps, of course, in that particular sport. Was sixth in the last World Championships. His season's best is very nearly 85 meters. So uh, that one, nowhere near what he would like. Weber there. Yeah, it's about 75 metres, 75-73 for Weber there, his opener. Well, this event being dominated by Johannes Vetter. Sure, we'll see him shortly. He's gone out to 96-29 in 2021. Here is uh, Krishan Walcott from Trinidad and Tobago. Former Olympic champion, of course, way back in, say way back, 2012 it is nine years ago now and he was only 19 at the time 28 years old now this his first round effort and that looks to be an improvement that's uh, getting out towards 80 meters he was the first non-european incidentally to win the olympic title and he did so in London in 2012 since 1952 so very much breaking the mold second in Lucerne recently and 79-62 so the early lead for the former Olympic champion well Chris mentioned Johannes Vetter the world number one the world champion back in 2017 here he is now his opening effort his last in the throwing order of the eight men and he can throw big when he hits it right, Vetter. Has he got that one right? No, just below 80 metres. I'm not sure the wind is helping them much. They like a headwind, these fellas, and they've got a, a slight tailwind. Vetter here, by the way, hasn't competed in the UK since his win at London 2017. So in almost four years, uh, he hasn't come over to these shores and thrown in anger. But that one, well, around 78, 79 metres, and he has thrown 70 over 96 this year 78 89 he has thrown some 18 meters better than that this season there's a lot more to come from the big german yes vadlek of uh, the czech republic now on his day vadlek is a big big thrower world championship silver medalist behind vetter back in 2017 and that is big from vadlek Round two now, he's a third in the throwing order, and that has just, as you could see, just eased over 80 metres. He was eighth in Rio, 30 years old now. Won this uh, Diamond League meeting when it was held in London back in 2016. So Jakub Vadlik won the uh, Czech title recently with 82 metres and four, and here takes the lead in the set. Tokyo, McLeod will have the summer off. Well, Anderson Peters of Granada is the reigning world champion. He's still only 23. Here he is, having opened with a no throw in the second round. And that's close to 80 metres from Peters. Now, he is an 87 metre thrower at his best. That was uh, back in August 2019. And he uh, won the Pan Am Games in Lima. But uh, his season's best, 83 46, shows he's three or four meters down on his best so Peter's there with uh, 79 35 in the second round so Hannes Vetter second throw for the German former world champion who is closing in on that uh, long-standing world record by Jan Zelesny incidentally the UK is a good place for world records in this event, the men's javelin. If we look back, Zelezny threw 95-66 in Sheffield back in 1993. Steve Backley set the world record at uh, Crystal Palace in 1990. So we've had a couple of world bests in this country for the British athlete. Well, the javelin has been unfolding over the last hour. Let's take a look.
at the final three. This is how these best men made the uh, top three during the competition. Weber, with his uh, fourth round effort, having threatened the 80 meter line prior to this, throwing out to 81.07. That was the best of the uh, first five rounds for the German champion, who has thrown nearly 85 meters this year. Johannes Wetter opened with a 78 meter effort, then 82.13 came in round two for the world number one. And uh, Wetter, of course, the uh, second longest thrower in history now behind Jan Zalezny. And then the uh, best of the first five rounds was by Trinidad Tobago's Kashawn Walcott, the London Olympic champion. 28 years old now in round three he put one out to 82 81 three of his uh, first five efforts were uh, beyond 80 meters so that's how they got there and so the final three and again if you're new to this the first five rounds essentially earn you the right to have a sixth round and a final sudden death playoff and there are our three final threes. They'll throw in reverse order, so it'll be Weber, then Vetter, and then Walcott. With Walcott having the advantage of throwing last and knowing exactly what he has to do to win the competition. So here he goes. What sort of marker can Weber put down? On the German title in Braunschweig back in early June, the 80-33. And then his last two competitions prior to this, he threw 82 metres in Madrid and then 84 metres in Luzerne. In the rain and cool conditions a couple of weeks back. And that from Faber, well, yeah, he's not delighted with it, is he? About 77, maybe 78 metres. Got to sit on that and hope that the other two don't have a good sixth and final round either. This is it, the uh, sudden death situation that creates this jeopardy. And uh, Weber that 77-16, yeah, he's really frustrated with that. Well, it's an interesting psychology, isn't it? Because having got yourself into the, the final three, into the sixth round, do you go for safety and go for something conservative, or do you try and go for it? Better then, on the world champion second furthest thrower in history here he goes the german needs to beat 77 16 initially gives it an absolute roar well that is well clear of 80 meters that is 85 meters approaching and if it is that is the furthest throw of the evening so far he's often said that trying to throw a javelin a long way is a bit like going into a casino and playing roulette the odds frankly are stacked against you getting it absolutely right but it isn't half fun trying and I think he's got that one pretty right everything has to be just on point doesn't it the trajectory the speed the good foot plant and he seems to have got that right it's a strange analogy that one Chris isn't it because you are in control of the odds funnily enough isn't they're stacked against you as he puts it 85 25 that is by far the biggest heave of the evening what can Walcott do now? The challenge has been laid down. 2012 Olympic champion, 82-81 earlier on. And no, he too, just like Weber, succumbing to the pressure. And that's about 77 metres, nowhere near. Ironically, in this uh, final three situation, Vetter will end up winning by some seven or eight metres. 76-74. Yes, Vetter wins over Weber and then Volk Walcott in third place by over eight metres. He's a massive uh, figure, isn't he? Better. I saw him in the hotel this morning. He's not actually like some of the javelin throwers of recent years, hugely tall. He's only about, I guess, six foot one, something like that. Not a massive guy. 